So I'm just doing a bit of testing of this park neutral switch on this BMW E46. Um, it is throwing a code of P0705. Um, and basically what that means is that the gear position sensor on the side of the gearbox isn't corresponding to that of the gear stick and of the, the vehicle speed sensor. Um, so what I've actually done is I've got the multimeter attached up and I've gone through the um, the different positions and what we've got is a bit of a pin out that we found online um, and you know in park we should have so if we if we put our uh, multimeter into the positive connection on the full way through the testing if we move it into park we should have on pin l1 and pin l2 we should have, and in l4 we should have continuity to that so if we do a resistance test we should get continuity and basically all that's happening is this sweeping arm is moving across these tracks so i'm finding in all positions that have L1, I don't have an L1 position, and we don't have this 432. Four, uh, so I've just got park, reverse, neutral drive, and an E46. Um, my L4 is also missing, so I'm missing L1 and L4, it appears. If I go uh, into drive, I've got the L3. If I go into neutral, I've got L2 and L3. If I go into a park, I've got L2 and L4. All of those continuity with the positive. So we're just doing, let's say, a resistance check. If we have continuity, we have uh, a low resistance value. If we have overload, which is what that's saying at the moment, or a high resistance value, it means that we are not actually getting a connection or, a, you know, we have high resistance in the, uh, in the sweeping, um, you know, in the sweeping arc of these uh, contacts, basically. Um, so like I say, no L1, no L4. Uh, what we've done then, I've had this apart, drilled out the heads of the rivets just to get this plate off. I've kind of mapped it out where um, everything is. The, this one's park, this one's neutral, that one's drive. I can't actually find reverse simply because reverse is only mapped by L1 and L1 I don't have any continuity with. Uh, I pulled this off and I don't know if we can see see if we can get a close-up the way it sits is like this and then it will just move through its sweep so park is down here reverse neutral drive you know along those sort of lines so when we flip it over this one down here is okay these two have got black I don't know if we can get a close-up of it I might have to take a photo and see if I can attach it into the video there basically is two, those two pins, this one and this one, have black tips on them. And the rest of them have nice, clean, like gold, copper coloured uh, surface on them. Um, so I was like, that's interesting. But anyway, we'll did, I did another continuity test, same sort of deal. But rather than going continuity through the, the, the sweeping arc of the sensor, I've done a continuity test between um, each pin because I've got the pin out of this this wiring plug, which is here. I'm going, say, L1, and then I'm looking for L1 on here, and it happens to be that if I go L1, so I'm in L1 with my positive connection of the multimeter, which has now gone to sleep. So positive connection of the multimeter, and then if I start tapping around and looking for it, it's not here. Nothing, go to the next one. There we go, so that is that is my L1 circuit there. So that happens to be on one of those contacts that's got the black dirt. Remember the first one was okay, the second one was black, the next one was black, and then that one was okay, that one was okay. So on, the, on this sweeping arc, I mean, or the contacts, whatever you want to call it. So then if we move that to L4, which was the other problem one. So there we go, we're on L4 with our positive connection of the multimeter. Um, and then we'll go, just for sake of showing you what we think is gonna be right, go on to that contact, and we've got continuity. Now I'm not making the best of connection there, that's why we're getting a bit of a moving around scenario going on there. If I try and make a better contact, you might get a better idea of what's going on. Yeah, but anyway, you get the idea, that is then L4. So we've got L1 and then L4, and those are the two ones that have the black on the contacts, and it's also uh, the ones that I don't have continuity when I move it through the different positions. Like I say, um, we've got park, reverse, neutral. Someone's actually put an overlay onto the actual um, 
park neutral switch itself, which is great. Um, this is like I say, just a printout that I've gotten from the internet. No copyright, please. Um, but yeah, so when you put it in though, you can do this on the car, not obviously take it apart, but you can do it, just move the, the gear stick on the car and then um, you should get continuity between the positive, which is uh, like I say here on the plug. We've only got those wires in there. Pull this out so you can see. So yeah, it's an easy test to do just with a multimeter, just for a resistance check and then you can see what's up. So let's say L1 and L4 aren't working. We've got a uh, flashing uh, or at least a gear indicator coming up, the little cog on the dash, uh, and the car's going into limp mode and only allowing gear three. So that's um, the fix is replace this unit. Uh, I'll put the part number in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, or you could take it apart and try and clean the contacts maybe um, and bend them out a little bit just to get better contact. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's the fix for this one, guys. Thanks. Bye.